Hi friends, my name is Duke of the Bump, welcome to Let's Stream FTL. I know I've been full of empty promises lately, and I apologize for that. Uh, I know there's been a lot of broken dreams for people who like my streams, but uh, I'm back. I've been playing a ton of FTL over the past few days, and I would like to show it off once again on stream. Uh, I haven't streamed this game in just about a year, uh, just over a year I think the last time I streamed this this game was June of 2014, but uh, since then I've gotten back into the game in a big way. Those first couple streams have been disasters to say the least. Uh, I didn't know anything about this game when I started streaming it, and uh, I'm sure going back and watching those streams at this point would be quite, quite embarrassing. Uh, but uh, let's uh, show off what I've learned. Uh, hello to uh, Abel Adel, Ab Abel Adel, Ab 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 hi uh, in the chat. Uh, and hi to anyone else who's watching who's not in the chat. Uh, let's start a new game. I had a, just a, just to test my stream setup, uh, I started a game, but let's go ahead and abandon that because that just lasted a few seconds. Um, so, I've unlocked a couple new ships. Uh, during my streams, I unlocked this one, the Taurus, and in my experiments messing around with the ship, I was not a big fan of it. Uh, let's go ahead and sync the chat while I'm thinking about it. Actually, uh, Abelade will probably, uh, when he said hello, probably uh, stream uh, sync the chat for me, but... Let's do it again, just to be safe. Uh, hello to Private Steve in the chat room. Hello to Kamikaze Man 64 uh, Great to see all of you. Uh, I'm glad I actually have viewers because I can uh, name my crew after after you guys, which makes it a little more fun. Uh, so, like I was saying, I don't like the Taurus that much. I uh, haven't messed around with it a ton. I unlocked this ship, the Nisazio, during my last run. And I, I actually haven't messed with this at all yet. Uh, but it's interesting. It starts with... Uh, four engines instead of two, like the default ship does. Uh, it starts with a little less power as far as weapons go, but it starts with better sensors and it has the cloaking system built in. Uh, and I, I, I do really want to mess around with the ship at some point. Um, I also unlocked layout two for the Kestrel, which is pretty interesting. It starts with a crew of four instead of three, which is nice. Uh, and they're not all humans, so a little variety there. It starts with uh, an extra unit of weapons, and the weapon layout is interesting. Instead of a pulse laser and missiles, it just starts with these four basic lasers. Um, so this ship seems a little bit better than the regular, the main layout. Uh, so I thought I would go on ahead and start with this. Uh, this is the ship I've been using for the most part, just the stock, you know, normal Kestrel. Um, so I don't want to change it up too much for my stream run. So I'll, I'll try out layout B. It seems like it would be a bit better. Hey, what's up? Just drop in the chat. Yes, I do like to kill my viewers virtually, only hopefully this time there will be a lot less killing going on. Uh, so let's go on ahead and change my name. Uh, let's see, this is the captain, right? I believe... I believe that's me. Uh, so, let's see, the first people to join... I'm actually not getting a viewer list. Uh, okay. So, I don't know anyone's gender, so if I get your gender wrong and you are upset about it, let me know and I, I will fix it for you. But, let's change uh, Sophia here to... Uh, there we go. And this fellow can be... And of course the Mantis is... And sorry Kamikaze man, we don't have room for you on the ship at this, at this time, but hopefully we'll pick up a few more crew members and uh, I can get you on here as well. Oops. Oh, it's, it's truncating that name because it's a little too long. Let's just shorten it to that. There we go. Uh, 
Well, uh, Able Idol, you can enjoy watching your virtual avatar do the work instead. And uh, not have to lift a finger yourself. So I'll be playing on easy. Um, my previous streams have been on normal, and I've come to realize that was a mistake. I really should have started this game on easy, but I let my pride get in the way. And I won't be playing with the advanced content just yet. I would like to beat the game on easy first before I start messing around with this stuff. So uh, that's probably plenty of talking. Let's go on ahead and get started. All right, so I have I actually don't have enough energy to power all of these lasers and fully power my engines. Um, so one thing I've come to learn about this game is that you don't necessarily have to keep all of your systems fully powered all the time. Uh, for example, I can remove uh, one power from my sick bay or med bay until I actually need it and put that power into my engine instead, give me a little bit more uh, evasive ability. Uh, let's see, so that's we have me at the helm and Private Steve manning the weapons, uh, Abel's my engine person, and Just Drop is taking care of shields. Uh, so you don't start with any drones with this layout, which it doesn't really matter because I don't have the drone system yet anyway. Uh, five missiles, which we can't use until we uh, actually get a, a missile weapon, and the standard uh, 30 scrap, which is I believe what you always start with on easy. Uh, okay. So, uh, we have a few options here. Uh, there's a distress beacon here, so I think I will go on ahead and, well, I might want to actually go down here and kind of circle my way back around to the distress beacon. I should hopefully have time to do that before the fleet arrives, because I want to I explore, explore as much of the side of the map as possible until the fleet starts uh, pressing me forward. So, let's head down this way and see what we can find. Right, so we have a... Uh, a battle next to a sun, which is always fun. That means we have to start worrying about solar flares. Uh, so, I'm actually not going to use auto fire uh, because I realize that that's a bad habit to get into. Later on in the game, you really have to work on timing your shots uh, to uh, to get the maximum uh, usefulness out of them. I can actually uh, I can I can let these auto fire because. I'm not going to be doing much more with these uh, other than just sort of shooting at the shields and targeting the weapons. So you can hold down control when you click and you can choose which weapons you want to auto fire, which is useful when you have different kinds of weapons later on in the game. So uh, let's go ahead and unleash my barrage of basic lasers on this automated drone. I'm probably going to be pausing a whole lot during this playthrough. Uh, Alright, so I, I managed to take out his weapons for now. Let's go on ahead and do the same thing, but to the drones. Get that drone out of my hair. Actually, let's, I can go ahead and just toggle that on for now, until I, and so I, until I start getting a more advanced weapons layout. Right, got the drones down. Let's target the weapons again. Keep up the pressure on that. Alright, so the solar flare started a fire in the cockpit, so instead of putting it out myself, I'm going to do things the smart way and let physics put the fire out for me by depriving that room of oxygen. Get, my, get me out of there for the time being. There we go. Alright, we found one fuel, one missile, and 25 scrap, which is pretty awesome. Okay, fire's out. Let's close all the doors. Let's open all the doors to kind of get the oxygen back into the, back into this area more quickly. Oh, it's still paused. Alright, so it's no longer dangerous, so I can go ahead and head back into the uh, the helm there. Alright, so I'm not going to use any, any of the scrap I just got just yet. Actually, let's uh, go ahead and send me to the sick bay, since I took a little, little bit of damage there. I should have uh, should have gotten away from the sun before I did that, but uh... all right, <laughs> let's let's put this fire out now. Luckily, the fires are starting in places where it is pretty easy for me to put them out. And this this ship layout is actually uh, interesting because uh, it has way more uh, 
airlocks than than the default layout of the Kestrel. Which should be pretty nice when it comes to putting out fires. Alright, another automated uh, Rebel Scout. Let's go ahead and do the same uh, same routine on this guy. We, we have no solar flares to worry about this time. Right, weapons down, let's target the drone. I mean, my shield should be able to deal with this drone pretty well, as long as the, sh the ship itself isn't shooting at me, but just, uh, just good practice, you know. In my previous playthroughs that I streamed, well, in, in all of my early playthroughs, I uh, tended to just kind of let auto fire go and just not worry about like not worry about my weapons too much because the auto fire was on and that was definitely a, a big mistake uh, I've come to learn not to do that all right so since I destroyed that uh, scout the people I helped just gave me some extra material as well uh, I'm not going to upgrade my ship just yet uh, since I'm playing on easy I should be able to get by with what I have uh, for a good long time and then once I hit a store I'll probably start installing some more systems. Alright, so... Hmm, I actually might not be able to get to the Distress Beacon before they arrive, but... Let's, uh, let's find out. If not, then it's not the end of the world. Uh, Distress Beacon isn't necessarily going to be that great. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. Um... Oh, well, never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, put that power back into my engines. I could buy an, another reactor core just so I can power everything, but not going to be necessary just yet. Let's go after this guy's weapons. So uh, I do plan on going back to Castle in the Darkness, um, just I haven't been that inspired to play that game again lately. Uh, I, I mean, I really like the game, but I I finished it relatively recently, so it's not as interesting as me to me to to go back to that game as it is for me to uh, go back to FTL. All right, took that guy out. Oops. All right. So, hmm, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to that Distress Beacon before the fleet arrives, which is kind of a bummer, but, uh, like I said, not the end of the world. Let's, uh, I'll probably be able to go here and then here and then swing down and hit the store before, uh, before the fleet gets here. So, the pirate tried to shut down, the pirate ship tried to shut down my engines, so I only have one... Uh, core available for that, which will decrease my overall evasion. But for now, I can put that back into my uh, med bay. Alright, let's go after his weapons again. I do like how uh, when you have four separate lasers as opposed to the pulse laser, they all kind of fire at the same time. I don't know, it might make it a little easier to to time my attacks correctly later on. Alright, so I can hit this, this node and then go down to the store. Unfortunately, the only place I can go from there is to a different store, which isn't the most useful thing ever. But uh, I can... Hopefully, uh, add some interesting new systems to my ship. An unremarkable system, eh? Well, uh, let's get out of here then. Yeah, if I, uh, if I go to this node, then I'm kind of screwed because I have nowhere to go from there except back into the, uh, the advancing fleet. So, let's head to the store, see what I can get. Alright, so I'm going to 
go on ahead and buy the crew teleporter. And uh, I should save the rest of my money so I can buy uh, buy a reactor core so I can actually power that thing. Which I, I can't do yet, but as soon as I get two more scrap, I should be able to uh, to get that up and running. Um, would be nice to have these, but unfortunately... Uh, well, not unfortunately, but I, I think having the teleportation system is more important, so... Let's, uh, go to another store, <laughs> see, uh, let's window shop, see what they have that I can buy. Eventually, I'm going to get both of these, hopefully. I've come to realize that having a well-rounded ship is much more important than putting a lot of points into any one system. So, like, getting my shields up, up to four, uh, or four units of shield is not as important as having, uh, multiple systems on your ship, because the more systems you have, the more options you have available, and the the more uh, use you can get out of the uh, the random encounters, because often you'll run into situations where having a system uh, like the cloaking or the teleporter will en enable you to uh, to approach the random situations in ways you weren't before. So that's that'll be my uh, my main strategy here. All right, uh, as a space pirate attacking a civilian ship, so went ahead and help them. All right, so I can't actually see onto the ship yet because I still only have the basic sensors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Private Steve over here to the sensor room and see how many uh, people they have on the ship. Oh wait, my weapons aren't uh, aren't fully powered here. I need to unpower my bed bay again. All right, let's uh, attack the weapons just uh, first off here. Okay, there's only two people on the ship, so if I can get their health down a little bit, I can send uh, two people onto the ship with my teleporter, and if I can take the ship whole instead of blowing it up, then I will uh, I'll have a, a better chance of finding weapons and finding uh, prisoners who I can take as my crew members later on. But for now, let's disable the weapons and, and see how they react. My weapons are charging a little more, uh, more slowly, because I don't have, uh, I don't have, uh, Private Steve in the we manning the weapons at the moment. Alright, let's get a few shots in and deal a little bit of damage to Turing here. Okay, so I'm going to untarget all my weapons, because I don't want to accidentally blow up the ship while I have people on there. And let's see, let's send Just Drop, because Mantises are superior fighters, and, uh, let's send Abel. So, I'll send them here, I will power down my weapons by one, so I can power my teleporter. Alright, let's, uh... Well, let, let, let's... Oh, wait, I thought I untargeted you guys. No, that's weird. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's do that. Okay. I wish there was a way to untarget the weapons without removing power from them, because... It, when you do that, when you do when you do it the way I just did it, it drains some of their charge, and it's not an ideal way of doing things. But uh, not that important. So let's teleport these guys into the weapons room, so they can punch this guy to death. Now they have a uh, I forget what this race is called. It's the uh, it's like the biomechanical race, which are not good fighters. So uh, should be able to take these guys out pretty easily. Alright, so all I found on this pirate ship uh, was some scrap and a drone and some fuel. So it, it wasn't as, as successful as I would have liked, but uh, you know, it's, it's always good to try that. Send me into the med bay to help the injured enemies. Uh, well, unfortunately, Abel, it uh, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Uh, I mean, these are these are pirates, you know. They're uh, if if we don't if we don't punch them to death, then they're going to kill untold amounts of people. So don't worry, you are doing the world, the galaxy a service by punching those guys. All right, so the civilian ship retreated while I was uh, while I was attacking these guys. So nothing uh, nothing interesting there. So let's teleport these guys back, send them to the sick bay, uh, power the sick bay so they can actually heal. Well, I mean, pirates were mean first, you know? Kind of the law of the galaxy. Alright, back to your stations, everyone. 
So let's add the power back to my engine, unpower the sick bay, put power back in my weapons. Uh, actually, let's go on ahead and... Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot the first power bar you buy was 20. I thought it was 25. Well, the first two were 20, and then after that it cost 25. So let's go ahead and buy two of those so I can keep that powered and keep my weapons fully powered. Okay, great. All right, so I don't want to go into the nebula because I, I, I avoid nebulas whenever possible. They're just bad news for everyone. I should be able to go at least to this node and possibly to this node as well before I go to the exit. Right, another one of those automated ships. Uh, so w one mistake that I made was teleporting people onto an automated ship, which uh, the reason that's a mistake is because you might notice that the ship does not have an oxygen system. <laughs> because obviously it's automated, you don't need oxygen to keep people alive, so um, don't make that mistake. I'm just going to go with the traditional shoot everything at the weapons until the ship blows up. And I, I don't even have to worry about this drone since it's, it's firing a beam weapon. And beam weapons don't do squat if my shields are up. I took a little damage from that missile, but uh, it's not that big a deal. Alright, <laughs> turn auto fire back on and keep the pressure up on the weapons. I got 25 scrap from the, the destroy ship, and I found a little bit of stuff at the station. You know, I just noticed that uh, Private Steve actually started with a full skill level in weapons, which is awesome. I didn't realize that uh, that he started with that. None, none of my other crew members started with any uh, cool skills. Uh, hey, what's up, Pinfeldorf? Good to see ya. Alright, so, hmm, looks like, yeah, it looks like they're going to make it to the exit node before I have a chance to explore anymore, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Don't want to press my luck. Claiming to have equipment available for sale. Uh, well, I don't want to buy anything from pirates. Uh, I should probably just, uh, just take these guys out. I'm a lot more aggressive uh, recently than I was when I first started playing this game because I realized that you kind of have to be 100% aggressive if you want to to amass the, the uh, equipment you'll need to survive. So let's take these guys out. Uh, let's uh... I'm gonna keep Private Steve in the weapons because he's actually skilled at that. Let's send... See, see right now I wish... Oh, I, I guess I can just... Un I can just right click somewhere and it'll untarget it. Alright, so let's send uh, Abel here into the sensor room and see, see what the crew looks like. So they have... I, I can't see, is that a Mantis? I think it is. Well, if I can kill the Mantis uh, w before I blow the ship up, then I, I might send, send send a couple people on board. Oh, they uh, they took out my, uh, my teleport system, so let's get Just Drop in there to repair that. Alright, they're offering to surrender, and I pretty much, unless I think I'm I'm going to be in trouble, I never accept surrender. Uh, like I said, much more aggressive. The Osprey B is a super duper fun ship. Yeah, I, I don't have that yet. The only ships I've unlocked are the uh, the weird square squarish one that you unlock early on. I unlocked a different version of the Kestrel, and I unlocked the uh, the stealth ship thing. Uh, we will not accept surrender. Alright, yeah, I'm not going to board their ship because they also have a, uh, a rock crew member and rocks, rock people have a lot of health, so yeah, not, not going to worry about that. So I found more stuff than, than I would have got if I accepted the surrender. Got a ship where there was only one crew member. That would be that would be pretty nice because I could just uh, 
I could just beam on board the ship and not have to worry about uh, about being outnumbered. All right, everyone return to stations. I've sustained a little bit of hull damage, but I'm still doing pretty well so far. Uh, so yeah, uh, if I if I was not exiting the, the snow then right now, then I would be in trouble. So let's head to the next sector. All right, cool. We have uh, wow. There's a lot of civilian controlled sectors on this map. That should be uh, that should be good. Um, but on the other hand, hostile sectors, uh, there's usually more stuff to fight, and you get more more resources for going through them. So, kind of a crapshoot. Um, but I like going to civilian sectors just because there's there's a more interesting varieties of random events usually. Uh, let's go to Ingi space. I, I think the Ingi are the uh, the uh, biomechanical people who who are bad at fighting. Well, uh, Pinful Dwarf, I found that most of the ships in this game seem to be unlocked by beating the flagship or beating the final boss, and I haven't done that once yet, even on easy. So it'll probably be a while before I can unlock uh, too many cool things. All right, so we have a distress beacon here. Um, so I'm going to hit the tr distress beacon. Actually, let's go here first, then to this this distress beacon then to the store so I can hopefully accumulate a little bit more scrap before I make it to the store. But I'd like to buy a, uh, a drone system if possible or if I can get that much uh, a cloaking system would be pretty nice too. Oh, okay cool so this is an opportunity to buy uh, fuel more cheaply than, than usual so I'll, I'll take them up on that buy six fuel for two scrap a piece. Uh, cost me 12 which is going to be a good investment um i haven't run out of fuel really at all in since i started playing this game but uh you know better safe than sorry all right so let's go to this stress distress beacon then i'll probably go here and then circle back around to the store hopefully i'll have enough scrap to buy something by then okay well i just uh I just bought fuel, so uh, I can spare it. Why not? Let's see if anything happens. Thirty-five scrap. That was a good. Uh, that was a good investment. That was a good trade-off. All right, so let's hit the snow, then go back down to the store, then go to this next distress beacon. Upgrade the med bay for some event. Yeah, I think I know which event you mean, Private Steve. Uh, I will probably. Uh, I will probably do that soon. Oh, Osprey C. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen the Osprey at all. Alright, so I, I have five missiles, so let's give them the five missiles and see see what happens. Right, 19 scrap, that's not bad. I mean, I don't have a, a missile weapon at all, so it's not like it's really costing me anything. Right, uh, I take it back. Let's go to this node and then, then head down to the store. <laughs> we found you at last, prepare to die. I, I, I don't know why the rebels were looking for me, but uh, okay. I mean, if you want to fight, I can uh, I can accommodate you. Let's see, let's send Abel into the uh, sensor sens sens room. See what we're dealing with. All right, crew of three humans uh, should be pretty easy to take out. If I can uh, if I can kill Cubbin, then I'll send I'll stop shooting the ship and send a couple guys on board. Sorry, Cubbin, nothing personal, but uh, you know you just happen to be the guy in the weapons room. I mean, your buddies are all going to die too, just you're going to be the first to go. Alright, he is close to death. Let's, uh... See, they don't they don't even have a sick bay, so let's just target whatever room Cubbin goes into. Looks like he's manning the, uh... The helm. Alright, I will not accept your surrender. However, I will, uh... Turn auto fire off, on target all my weapons, and send just drop and able. You are my uh, you are my goon squad. Right. Uh, let's send Private Steve into the sensor room just to see. Uh, all right. Let's wait until they put out those fires. Okay, the fires are out. They're working on repairing the weapons. Let's uh, take them by surprise.
All right, strip the ship of useful materials. Still haven't found anything cool uh, by teleporting onto the ship, but uh, it's an important strategy. Let's uh, bring the boys back home. Let them rest up. I have enough to buy a uh, a cloaking system if if that's available in the store. Hopefully it is, because that is also a very important uh, system to have. <laughs> to think Cubbin was three days away from retirement. Yeah. You know, you you work hard as a, a rebel scum, and what does it get you? Heartache. All right. Um. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and head to the store. All right, I could buy a drone system, which that that'll be pretty important later on. Uh, or I could buy another crew member, which is also important. That means I could have more systems manned. Uh, doing pretty well on fuel. Let's go ahead and, and fix my haul up completely. Uh, let's see. Ingi are good at repair. They're bad at combat. None of these guys have any skills. Uh, now, the cool thing about the Zoltan is they actually act as... Uh, a reactor core for whatever room they're in. So, for example, the Ingi I have is adding power to my weapon system right now. Uh, they are more fragile, but... Uh... Oh, and, and if if enemy... Uh, if people board my ship and kill a uh, Zoltan, then they deal damage to the enemy crew when, he, when they die. Um... I think I'll get an Ingi. Uh, I can use someone who's good at repairing, so let's pay 50 for that. See, your job will be... Oh wait, I have to go in and rename him. Uh, let's see. Who was the next person to join the chat? Uh, I believe it was Kamikaze Man. So, Kamikaze Man the Ingi. Uh, let's make it, uh... Okay, man. There we go. Welcome on board, Kamikaze man. Alright, so, uh, your job will be to man the sensors. Since I have, I have another crew member on every other important job. And since I didn't buy the, uh, the cloaking system, I guess I could upgrade my ship some. Let's, uh... Hmm... I'm probably going to have to start working, worrying about uh, borders soon. Well, let's put a point into that and a point into that for now. That'll, uh, I mean, we'll have to upgrade a lot more stuff eventually, but that, that's a good place to start. Better doors, better sensors. All right, let's uh, hit up this distress beacon and uh, work my way around to the exit node like that. Sort of snake my way around. Now to not blow the ship. Well, uh, if you, uh, if the ship does get blown up, uh, trust me, it'll be completely my fault. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. All right. So uh, my improved sensors are already paying off since I just put a point into that. I have a third option here on this uh, this event. Um, so let's run a scan and see if I can find anyone alive on board this Ingi research station. So I can save the drone schematic, which doesn't help me at the moment, or I can save the Inky and get another crew member. So that's what I, I will do. Alright. My uh, my crew is shaping up pretty nicely here. So, Borman. No, 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 don't do that. Why would you ever want to d dismiss a crew member? Uh, Borman will now be known as Penfeldorf. Oh, your, your name is one letter too long, Penfeldorf. So, I apologize. Uh, let's, uh, let's do it like this. Pinfo Dwarf, welcome on board. So, your station will be... Uh, let's see. You will be the doorman. Right, let's go ahead and save all of my crew positions now. And jump to the next note. And two stores, really? I just went to the store. Hmm. That's kind of a bummer. I could go here... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this place is just barely out of the uh, 
the danger zone. So so let's go this way rather than have have two stores available as my options. The e, the e is silent. Yes, exactly. Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Uh, yeah, that sounds like something I should investigate. All right. Good haul. Good haul, guys. Okay. Let's go, uh... Safest route would probably be this way. Because I can go here or here, and then head down to this node, and then, then hit the exit. Zoltan Research Facility. Uh, sure. Up. Oh. It was a trap. Alright, so... I have... Two enemy Zoltan on my ship. Luckily, I have improved doors and I have Pinfodorf uh, watching my doors, so it should be pretty hard for these guys to uh, to break into the bowels of my ship. So let's go ahead and uh, give them a little lack of air. And uh, while I'm doing that, they only have two people alive on their ship, so let's actually let's not uh, let's not attack them at all. Let's send Just Drop and Abel onto their ship and wreak a little havoc while we're at it. Alright, so... See how they enjoy having the airlock open on them. What is this guy? Uh, I got, no, it's not a rock, because he only has 100 health. I, I don't know what race this person is, but uh, I should be able to handle them. Oh, that's an Angie. I should be fine. Alright, so let's keep an eye on my uh, my guests. And keep my other eye on... Oops. I have a fire. Well, I can take care of that. Alright, so I managed to deprive these guys of oxygen until they die. I put out that fire. So, oops. Let's uh, go ahead and close all of my doors. Get air to the vital parts of my ship. Alright. Didn't find anything interesting at the research station. Or at the ship. I still have to contact the research station. Oh, hey, they gave me a boarding drone. Can't use it yet, but that, that might be cool later. Alright. Good job, guys. It's time for a little well deserved RR. &R. close all my doors just for aesthetic reasons I have a pretty good supply of scrap uh, but I will hold on to that for a little while since I'm doing pretty well right best route would be uh, probably here here maybe here here and then here so let's head down mantises See, there's three people on their ship. Mantises are good fighters, so I probably don't want to attack these guys. Uh, if I can kill one of the mantises, then, then maybe, but uh, nah, I'm just going to go after the weapons. Let's turn all the fire back on. I think my next ship upgrade will actually be, be upgrading my shields. I don't need to put a lot into my shields, but... I, Having at least two would be, uh, would be nice. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to attack mantises with uh, a human and a mantis, j just to be on the safe side. I don't want to risk you guys. All right, pretty good amount of scrap. Let's see what I can do to my ship here. Um, so it, it would cost me 50, it would cost me 100 to upgrade my shields. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, upgrade my shields and have enough power to to, uh, to power them. All right, good job, guys. Uh, all right, let's head here. So there's an Ingi ship here, offering to surrender. Um, it's kind of a dick move because the Ingi really aren't aren't bad or anything but uh you know to survive in this game you need 
every edge you can possibly get. So I'm going to accept their offer, surrender, and see what they give me. Okay, not much, but better than nothing. Right, let's head here, here, and then, well, hmm. I don't know, three turns might be pushing it. Let's let's just go here. I'm not paying you guys crap. Alright, so they have Ooh. Their uh their crew looks nice and squishy. Let's uh Let's attack their weapons a bit, see if I can get Viv Vivimore down on health. Hopefully, uh Hopefully kill him all together, and then I'll then I'll send a crew on board. Kind of a name is Vivimord anyway. Well, they hit me with a missile, but uh, that's to be expected. I should probably upgrade my engines next. Give myself. Oh, they're trying to escape. Oh, we can't let that happen. Let's. Uh... Hmm. It's the best way to go about this. Eh, let's just target their engines. I don't want to send a crew on board and risk, risk losing them while they're trying to, uh, to FTL away. That's never happened to me before, but I'm sure it's possible. Alright, we got them. Good job, guys. Alright, head to the exit. I, pr I probably could have done one more node. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I discovered a, uh... A derelict pirate ship. That's cool. Oh hey, I got the achievement for finding ten thousand scrap. That's cool. Oh no, it's a good thing I uh, I didn't try to go to an extra node because I would be in trouble. I mean, not that co that encountering the fleet is the end of the world because I can probably just run away before I take too much damage, but I'd rather not have to deal with that. All right, so uh, let's head to. Hmm. Let's head to the civilian sector, since I just went through Ingi space. Hmm. Kinda want to avoid this path, because I'd have to go through the nebula. Uh, so yeah, let's head to the store, and then... Circle my way around the map this way. Kind of, uh, kind of avoid the nebula altogether. Alright, so I should probably go ahead and buy a drone system, since I'm going to need that eventually. If I have a boarding drone, then, uh, that'll help, that'll help out my, uh, my away crew. So, that'll be, uh, that'll be a good investment, I think. So let's buy that. Both of these drones are pretty useful, but I'm going to save my money. Um, went ahead and fixed my hull, and I don't really need fuel, so let's hang on to what I have. So I need two reactor cores to power my drones. See what I can afford. Yep, I can afford two. Okay, awesome. So I have a... Uh, oh wait, I can actually... Uh... Okay, so... Oh, oh, the boarding drone needs three power, so I can't, I can't use that yet. I actually shouldn't have used this because I just wasted one of my drones by uh, by in, by uh, equipping that. Go on page two in the shop. Yeah, well, I, I kind of already spent my uh, spent my money, but yeah, these things are all useful. Or I could have hired a rock crew member, but um, I, I stand by my decision to uh, to buy the drone system. Alright, oh hey, there's a distress signal here. Good timing, distress people. Hmm. Uh, let's try to dislodge the ship, see what happens. Oh, they gave me some stuff, cool. Didn't even have to fight him. Alright, so let's head here. A forward scout of the rebel fleet. Oh, they're trying to run away. Well, we'll see about that. Oops. Uh, let's see. Do I want to fight, or do I want to 
just disable their engines. Well, let's, uh, they, they need this to be, uh, uh, they they need the uh, the piloting system to get away. So let's let's deal some damage to Will here. Fire at Will and uh, hopefully take out the system, prevent them from running. Oh wait, what? Oh, they just teleported a bomb onto my uh, ship and disabled my O2. Well, that was rude of you. All right, so who are my good? Uh, I guess that would be K-Man and Pinfeldorf here. So you guys go in there and fix my oxygen. Luckily I, I upgraded my sensors so I can still see onto their ship. Alright, let's uh, stop firing for now. Yeah, this guy's almost dead. So if I just teleport into the, the cockpit, I can probably... Uh, I, can, I can prevent them from escaping that way. Alright, oops. Alright, so just drop and Abel, you are my dudes. And or dudettes. So let's uh let's take him out. Oh crap, I have fire in my Oh man. I can't uh, I can't put this out with uh by opening the doors. Hmm. Alright, well, Came in, Pinfeldorf. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to keep an eye on you guys, but you need to take care of that fire. All right. So the third, the third crew member came in here to uh, to assist. All right. Looks like this fight should be mine. Yep. Damn, I still didn't find any, anything cool. See, the big advantage to teleporting people onto the ship instead of destroying it is that you can usually find either weapon systems or crew members as well as uh, the normal scrap and whatnot. So, uh, kind of disappointing that that hasn't happened yet. Oh well. Good job, guys. Back to your stations. Alright, let's upgrade my engines a little bit. So, see, let's do that one and then increase my reactor by one. So that gives me 25% of evasion instead of 20, which should be a uh, pretty good help. Also, I have a defense drone, which is extremely useful for uh, ships firing missiles at us. I, I say this is probably the, the main reason you want you want a drone system on your ship because missiles bypass your shields and they're just unpleasant to deal with. So if you have a defense drone circling around shooting down incoming missiles, that's an enormous help. Sell drone parts for scrap, eh? Well, I, I kind of want to hang on to my drone parts. Like I was saying, Defense drones are very useful, and if I can increase my uh, my drone power, then I can start using the boarding drones as well. So, yeah, not going to take you up on that. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's go to this distress beacon and then kind of search around in that general area. Uh, sure, I'll give you some fuel. Oh, hey, they upgraded my reactor. Awesome. It's a good trade-off. I am running a little bit low on fuel, but I should be able to find a shop before I run completely out. So let's see, with my extra reactor power, I can upgrade... Uh, hmm. Can't really upgrade anything with what I have. I could upgrade my drone system, but uh, I want to save my scrap for more important stuff. Oh, there's a store right here. Cool. Well, let's go here first. Attack the automated ship to get to the storage cache. So yeah, now that I have improved sensors, you can see on their ship and see that there's no oxygen. And if I did that uh, before I foolishly teleported people onto the ship, then I would have known that they were kind of doomed. But... Oops. Uh, for some reason it did not... Okay, there we go. All four lasers. Attacking the weapon system. Since they don't have drones or anything for me to worry about, I can just keep their weapons disabled and uh, 
and I'll be good. The advantage to an automated ship is that uh, you don't have to worry about fires since there's no oxygen on the ship to uh, to worry about. All right, so I got 39 scrap from the ship. Ooh, hole smasher laser, eh? Oh, I have to see see about that. So it requires three. Does three shots per charge. Two times damage on systemless rooms. Hmm. Interesting. So if I can boost my weapons by one, then I can use the hole smasher and two basic lasers. Which I think that's what I'll do. Uh, I'll get extra damage from the whole laser by attacking uh, systemless rooms, and I can still use my other three lasers to uh, to keep their weapon system disabled. So uh, let's. Mm. So I would need thirty. I need eighty for that. So I'm one short. Or I mean, I could just do that and unpower the whole smasher when needed to. Uh, to fire up my drones. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that. So let's get an extra unit of weapons. Let's go in and install the whole laser along with three basic lasers. So I would need... Uh, let's see. Oh wait, I need to unpower one of those. That's right. Alright. Two basic lasers, I mean. Okay, well, no worries. I actually still have enough for my defense drone as well. Alright, so let's hit here and then head to the store. Oh, hey! I was just saying how much I needed more fuel. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and take you up on that. Of course, that leaves me with nothing to spend at the store, so, uh, I just, I won't bother with this, this particular store. I should be able to get to the exit before the fleet advances. I'll be cutting it a little close, but, uh, it should be fine. Intervene to defend, defend the outpost, heck yeah. Alright. Alright, so they have three people on their ship, so, let's, uh, let's see, they are all in... Alright, so since I don't want to destroy the ship, I actually, I'll just use my whole laser as a normal laser and target the, uh, the weapons. Hopefully, take this guy out in the process. I mean, this is as good as three basic lasers, because it does three shots per charge. It, it, I mean, it does take a little bit longer to charge up, but uh, but even if you're targeting a room with a system in it, it's still better than, than three basic lasers, I think. Alright, so weapons are pretty well disabled. Let's uh on target and uh able and just drop. Do your worst. Oh man, this guy's actually kinda tough. Oh wait, I'm attacking them in the uh, the med bay. That's not a good idea. All right, so I'm probably going to have to keep an eye on my uh, on my crew members here and teleport them out as soon as possible. All right, just drop. Uh, you retreat this way for now, and uh, actually, Abel, you do the same. Sorry, guys, I did not notice. All right, yeah. Uh, good try, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize that they had a med bay, so things would go poorly for me. Alright, well, since that didn't work, let's just blow them up. And you guys heal up. Alright, had to get rid of them the old-fashioned way. Dang, I got a pretty good haul from that. Alright, good job guys. Back to your stations. Uh, came in and pinful dwarf. You're looking a little, uh, little green around the gills as well. So, little, little R and R for you guys. There you go. 
All right, what do I want to spend all my new loot on? Uh, let's get one more reactor unit just so I can power all of my lasers. Well, actually I can't because I would need more weapons power as well. How much would that cost? 75? Yeah, let's not do that just yet. What do I get for upgrading my uh, sensors? C, enemy weapon charge. Hmm. Uh, let's hang on to my money for now. I, actually, let's upgrade my uh, my teleporter. Since if I get in, in another hairy situation like that, I'll be able to bring bring my boys back on my ship a lot sooner. Oh, hey, what's up, McGack? Good to see you. Completely unremarkable binary star system. Oops, wrong button. Falling into your trap, eh? Alright, so they have one rock crew member and two Ingi. So if I can take out the rock... Oops, wrong button. Alright, so let's, uh... And by take out the rock, I don't mean Dwayne Johnson. Don't, uh... Don't, uh, don't get confused there. Alright, where are you going? Rock. Oh, okay. Looks like they wanna do a little away mission of their own. Well, you came to the right place. Oh wait, crap, there's no airlock in the in this part of the, uh, the ship. Okay. Well, you guys move over here. You head into the sick bay, and I will do that. There we go. That should be uh, that should be pleasant for you. And while you're doing that, let's send just drop and uh, let's see where did Abel go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, let's send you guys onto their ship. Since you know, for some reason, I never seem to have a problem, uh, you know, with them depriving me of oxygen. All right, Ingi, you're nice and squishy, so I should be okay. Should have put my defense drone up since they're. Uh... All right, so they have a, a med bay as well, but since, like I said, Ingi, you're squishy, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, so they sent the rock back onto the ship instead of just letting him die from lack of oxygen, which is probably a good move. Oops. Hmm. But oh, hey, it's Scoops. Scoops took a lot of damage on that on that trip, so let's head in here, deal with this Ingi. See, now that now that he's off my ship, I can send my people back to their normal stations. Crap. Oop, need to close that door. Alright, just drop is sustaining some damage. Hmm. This isn't working out. Yeah. Wait a sec. I thought, I thought these guys were only supposed to have 70 health. Why does Kremity have 100? Oh, I must be thinking of a different race. What's the race that only has... Oh, well. Forget it. Fine, I'll just bring you back. You guys are no fun. Alright. How's that fire doing? Okay. Let's uh, fire a whole laser here and a basic laser uh, on your weapons. Alright, fire's out. Let's get, uh, let's get some air back in that location. Everyone back to your stations. Actually, you guys stay in the sick bay. Crap. Man, those missiles are just wreaking havoc. No, I will not accept surrender. Man, they've hit me with every single one of those missiles. I really should have put my defense drone up. But, too late now. Alright, you guys need to get in there and fix the oxygen. The Zoltan have less- Oh yeah, I guess you're right, it is the Zoltan. I don't know why I thought the Ingi had less hit points. Or fewer hit points. Substantial collection of scrap metal. Alright, so that encounter could have gone better, but 
could have gone worse. Uh, everyone survived, so I, w I will consider that a successful mission. Seal everyone up. I did poorly in this fight. What do you mean? I blew them up. Everyone survived. The hole took a little bit of damage, but the hole seen worse than that. All right, get the shields fixed up. Get Private Steve fixed up. And everyone back to your stations. All right. Uh, I have a store that I probably won't be able to buy many things at, but uh, let's check it out anyway. Well, I could hire someone. Hmm. I already have the whole laser too, so... Not, uh... Oh man, I wish I could afford cloaking. I could buy another defense drone. Nah, I probably just need one. Let's just, uh, let's fix my hole. And then get out of here. Alright. Put more power back into that. Put power... Uh... Oh, right. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's hit the exit and get out of here. I could have knocked out their missiles easily or attacked the med bay earlier. Well, I didn't want, I don't want to attack their ship while I have people on board, because if I accidentally blow up their ship and lose two people, then that would be a disaster. So, I stand by my, my choices. See, they want to trade me tin fuel for two drones. Uh, I'm actually doing pretty pretty good on fuel for right now, so no thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. All right, let's head to Ingi Control Space. Hmm. Let's see. I visit this place, and then I'll have to waste a fuel getting back to this place, so let's just uh, let's head this way. See, they want to trade me three drones for two missiles. I still don't have missiles, so I will actually accept that trade. I mean, I have missiles, I don't have any way to fire them. computer virus that is wanted for hostile acts against the Ingi is aboard my vessel. Really? You think I have a virus? Well, I think I should have my Ingi crew member talk some sense, sense into you guys. What? Wait. I really did have a virus on my ship? What? Sorry, Pinfeldorf. Up. Uh, too late, Private Steve. <laughs> I I'd never seen that before, so I didn't know what was going to happen. Well. Uh. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's target their lasers with that, and I will target this nice big empty section of ship with the whole laser. Destroy these guys. I wish I can mouse over their weapons and see what they have. Because I don't know if they have missiles or not. If they do have missiles, I'll put up a defense drone. But uh, if not, I won't worry about it. Yeah, they, they don't have missiles, so I won't put up my defense drone just yet. Put a point back into my lasers. I should probably start stop using auto fire at this point, um, because 
I actually need to uh, to try to time my shots a little better here. So let's wait until my whole laser charges, and then I will uh, I will make my decisions at that point. The NG somehow smell really bad, and Pimple Dwarf was no exception. Well, that's kind of rude. All right, so. Let's uh, take out their shields with my basic lasers and then target a nice big empty section of their ship with my whole laser. Or try to take out their shields anyway. Alright, didn't work, but should be able to still get two shots in. There we go. Good shot. Man, I really need uh, better evasion. I'm getting hit a lot. My Ingi crew member re reforms. It looks as if the virus reconstituted, repurposed, and reprogrammed the Ingi host and wants to travel with me. It seems to have learned a great deal from his time on my ship. Wow! So Pinfold Dwarf is back and better than ever. In virus form. Holy crap! Oh my god! That's maximum skills in every possible skill. Wow. I'm glad I didn't listen to you, Private Steve. Wow, so where do I want to put you? Uh, I guess let's, uh, hmm. That was a very interesting development. All right, well, let's heal you up, Private Steve. I mean, I could make you my new engine guy. That would give me, uh, See how much of a evasion boost that gives me. Let's see. With Able, I had 29%, uh, and with Virus, I have 32%, so a little bit of a boost. Or I could put him on shield, so my shield recharge faster. But, I mean, I guess it shows me the uh, the effects right here. So I would have more evasion. So th these would both be evasion plus 10. 30% faster shield recharge. That would probably be important. 20% faster charge on weapons. I know who I'm sending on my next away mission. Combat damage inflicted is halved. That's what I was thinking. Was Because uh, I knew they sucked at combat for some reason. I thought it was because they have fewer hit points. But it's just because they, they do less damage. So I, I guess Virus is, uh, is going to stay on my ship. Let's, uh, yeah, let's put you on shields. Able back on engines. Just drop. You can man the, uh, the doors since... Uh, that was Pinfold Dwarf's old job, and now obviously I want him on, an, on a more important system. And uh, let's save these positions. You're the new captain. I should make even the new captain, Pinfold Dwarf. You're good at everything. In fact, let's uh, give you the respect you're due. There we go. Good job, Pinfold Dwarf. You've done well. You're useless now, Edel. You're not useless. No, I'm going to keep you on engines. I mean, your, your engine skill is way better than I would expect it to be at this point. I mean, just look at Just Drop's shield skill. He's been on skills the whole time. Or he's been on shields the whole time. And he's, uh, he's not anywhere near as useful as you are on shields. Came in, uh... Just keep doing your thing in uh, sensors, man. Alright, uh, positions ready. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do with my scrap? Let's uh, get another reactor bar and upgrade my, let's upgrade my med bay because that could be important later on. Alright, uh, where to? Well, this is the logical choice. Another opportunity to buy fuel cheaply, eh? I will take you up on that offer. Alright, let's hit this location, this location, maybe this location, and then the store. Let's 
So there's the aftermath of what seems to be a brutal exchange between several ships. Let's use my improved sensors to scan the wreckage. Got some cool stuff. Not bad. Right. What I would like to get is some sort of beam weapon. Now that I have the hull laser, uh, if, if I can use that to take down their shields and hit the ship with a beam weapon, then that would be uh, a good combat strategy. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll rescue your store. <clears throat> Where is that quest? Oh, the quest is way down here. Wow. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it. Oh, well, let's hit this distress beacon. Uh, sure, I'll help. I will remotely repair your targeting system. Nice. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, let's head to the store since it's about to get vaporized by, th by the oncoming fleet. See if they have anything worth, uh, worth putting my money into. Still can't afford cloaking, unfortunately. I could sell this basic- well, that just gives me 10. Hmm. If I sell my basic laser and both my drones, I can afford a, uh, a cloaking system. But, uh, I, I don't really want to give up my drones. Let's go ahead and sell this, since I obviously I won't need it at that point- at this point. It's only 10 scrap, but better than nothing. Texture shift from ion damage. Giving a 50% chance to negate it entirely. That's pretty cool, but I'm probably not going to be going in, into any ion storms on this run, since I try to avoid them like the plague. Uh, sure, I'll help the Ingi. A Mantis ship assaulting a small Ingi space station. Right, they have a teleporter, so they're probably going to beam some people on board. Let's, uh,. Actually, I don't want to. I don't want to target just yet. Let's. Uh, okay. Let's see what they do first of all. All right. So he teleported it into my oxygen room. Quite ironic because I'm going to deprive you of oxygen. Let's uh, bring my defense drone up since they have missiles. Yes. Shot that missile right out of the sky. All right. All weapon systems up target their missiles or their weapons with my basic lasers hit this big empty section with my whole laser nice god defense drones are so good didn't learn your lesson huh wait what the hell oh they shot an uh, an ion disruptor thingy at my uh, my door system Alright, take out your weapons, and fire a whole laser. Actually, let's fire the whole laser at this guy. Excellent. Attempt to contact the Ingi. Oh, okay. So they are they are to destroy the Ingi. They just used the distress call active to lure me into a trap. Fair enough. Another store down here. I, I won't be able to get there before it gets overrun, though. So let's just, uh... Probably the path I want to take is here, 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 and then the exit. Well, crap. I do want to try to finish this quest, though. So if I go here, here, and then here, I can backtrack one and then make it to the exit. One, two, three, four, five. Five turns. Will they get to the exit node in five turns? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh hey, experimental technology. I like the sound of that. Man, look at all my scrap. I wish I uh, had a store selling a cloaking system now. Alright. I might have to deal with the fleet, but I would really like to, to do this quest, so... Doing the quest is how you unlock new ships for the most part. Sometimes sacrificing a current run is worth it in the long run. Yeah, that's true, but... But even if I go there, I don't think I will be uh, sacrificing this run. I should be okay. Oh, this is just a, a little flavor event. Uh, I see some Ingi working together. 
which is very nice. Man, there's another store here. Nah, too risky. Let's just finish this quest and see if I get anything cool. Engage the rebels. So they have three humans on their ship. And a repair drone. Alright, well, let's uh, do a little damage to the weapon system. If they have missiles, I'll, I'll throw out a defense drone. I have a nice little supply of drones. Oh, crap! Alright, let's go ahead and put out my defense drone in case I send any more of these things. Alright, since it's a drone, obviously depriving it of oxygen isn't going to help. So let's get Just Drop and uh, Able. I guess you are my, uh, my go-to fighters. I could send Pinful in there. I mean, he's their combat damage is halved, but wait, 20% more crew damage. Does that mean that affects all of my crew members, or or is that 20% damage to enemy crews? Hmm, not really sure. Well, Pinful God's already there, so let's uh, let you guys take care of that drone. All right, wait for all my weapons to charge. All right, let's go laser, laser. Well, since I do want to kill one of their crew members, let's go ahead and just throw everything at that, at that room. Oh, since there's a, a crack in my hull, uh, I'm starting to lose oxygen, but that should be fine as soon as I kill this drone. It's almost dead, yeah. Okay, let's uh, fire one more shot at this room, see if I can take Narth out. Oops. Alright, good job. Everyone back to your stations. Wow, I missed with pretty much every shot. Well, I, I took their shields down, but after that I only hit once, which kind of sucks. I actually don't know if defense drones help against boarding drones or not. Incoming missiles, asteroids, and flak debris. So yeah, that, that probably wouldn't help. Alright, I'd say that's that's good enough. Let's uh well just drop took some damage, so did Pimpful God. Let's uh I should have healed you guys up, so I can send you on an away mission. Oh well. Screw it. Let's just uh Let's just blow him up. Why are you still in the med bay, Private Steve? Uh, oh, I, I... Actually, I don't know. Where should you be? You should be in weapons. What, what are you... Uh... Alright. Is everyone in the right location? Yes. Alright, station saved. I don't know. I, I guess somehow I, uh, I had that set as your default position. Not really sure how. Two whole points repaired. Well, that's cool. Oh! And there's a shop here. Nice. Alright, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy cloaking. Alright, that was well worth it. So I need one more reactor so I can power my cloaking. And I, I, I want to upgrade this as soon as possible. See, anything else I want to buy here? Anything I want to sell? Nah, not really. Alright, well that was a that was a cool quest. Let's, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to encounter the fleet, but, but that's fine. However, I do definitely want to get everyone healed up before I have to uh, deal with that. Alright, back to stations, everyone. All right, so let's just deal as much damage as, as I can b until I get my uh, my FTL drive charged up. See, they can't teleport, so that's good. They have three shields, which is going to be uh, it's going to make things difficult. But uh, like I said, my goal isn't to blow them up. My goal is is to survive long enough to jump. 
Uh, and let's go ahead and put a defense drone up just to be on the safe side. Now, timing is important when, with cloaking because if I cloak right before they're shot, uh, well, my defense drone is probably going to take that out. But yeah, see, if you hit C, it gives you an immediate evasion increase, or if you enable your cloaking, it immediately gives you plus 60 to dodge. So you want to you want to try to time that pretty well. Of course, I only have five seconds worth of. Uh, Uh, five seconds worth of cloaking at the moment, but I will hopefully increase that later on. Alright, shot down their missile, that's good. Crap. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, so I'm going to rock control territory right now, which should be fine. It'll be a little bit more dangerous than the previous areas, but it'll be okay. You can also just pull down your shield by one to get cloaking fully powered on three. Uh... Oh wait, I need to repair my cloak. No, not sure, not sure what you mean, Abel. Uh... Reduce my shield by one. I mean, I still only have one uh, level one cloaking, so uh, one is all I want to be able to use until I upgrade that. Oh, I, I think I see what you mean, though. Like, w once I get this upgraded, I can uh, I can lower my shields temporarily to prov provide power to that. But see, the problem with that is once you use it, you can't take power out of it until this. Uh, Oh well, it's not going to do anything if I'm not currently in battle. Oh, don't need to buy more energy after upgrading Cloak. Yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. Uh, okay, so we're two. Uh, guess it doesn't really matter. An automated drone. Uh, attempt evasive maneuvers. Oh crap, there's something on my ship. Okay, nice. Got 50 scrap out of that little event. Huh. I have two stores to choose from, eh? Well, let's see what store number one has to offer. See, having a whole beam instead of two basic lasers would actually be pretty cool. Because I can use my whole laser to take down their shields, and then use my whole beam to deal a pretty decent amount of damage uh, to the ship. So I'm going to pick that up. Well, let's see what's on page two first. Boost the ship's shield recharge rate by 15%. Actually, that's probably more important. This isn't so important. I've never been in a situation where I really wasn't able to get away because it wasn't charging fast enough. So let's fix up my hull, buy the shield recharge booster, and I could sell my lasers to buy the hull beam. Yeah, let's do that. Let's sell two lasers. Oh crap, I'm still one short. Uh. Let's sell this boarding drone. I'm, I'm not using it at the moment. Alright, awesome. Buy the whole beam. A system repair drone would be cool. Eh, don't need it right now. Alright, so move basic lasers into that slot. Unpower those, power up my whole beam. Okay, awesome. And let's go ahead and increase my cloaking by one while I'm here. So, uh, so what Abel was saying was, well, uh, I want to leave these two available for my defense drone. So what they're saying is I can unpower my shields, power up my cloaking, use it, and then while I'm waiting, or uh, af after my cloaking is done, 
bring bring my shields back up. Which uh, not not sure how that'll work out in practice, but uh, I, I guess we'll see. Rock pirates, eh? Oh, so they have cloaking as well. Interesting. So while they're cloaked, my weapons don't charge and I can't target them at all. Alright, so now that they shot with these two weapons, I'll go ahead and enable my cloaking, give myself an immediate evasion boost, and they're probably going to miss with everything. Exactly. So uh, let's wait for my weapons to, ch to charge up here. Oh wait, I, I need to, uh, so see, once my, uh, so say I put up a defense drone, that leaves me with one bar of energy. So see, I can't take the power out of my cloaking for until this, this timer counts down, so, so actually, I, I actually don't think that would work, Abel. I can take the power out of something else, like I could take it out of, uh, this, since I'm probably not going to use it in this encounter. Yeah, they have three rock crew members with 150 health each, so so that's not something I wanna I wanna put my crew into. All right, weapons are charged. Let's uh, shoot the whole laser here. Hopefully, take the shields down. All right, shields are down. Let's use the whole beam. Get as many empty rooms as possible because it does double damage in empty rooms. So I'm targeting three rooms with the whole beam. Two of them are, em are empty. So if this hits as well as possible, it should do uh, five damage, which is pretty good. P plus, hopefully, the one extra shot from my whole laser. Okay, well, they resisted my whole beam for some reason. Not really sure why that happened. I, I guess that has something, something to do with this particular type of ship. I'm, I'm not really sure. All right, they're cloaking again, so not much I can do except sit here. Luckily, my cloaking recharges while their cloaking is up, so e even if my weapons aren't charging, I'm still uh, it it's still uh, I'm still able to do something at least. Right. I'm just I'm just gonna target everything at the hull. Try to destroy their ship as quickly as possible, rather than taking out their systems. Yeah, I just did a significant amount of damage to those guys. Ha! Right, whole laser. Whole beam. Nice. Alright, the strategy should hopefully work out for me pretty well. Uh, I will eventually want to upgrade my weapons by one more just to get another laser shot in there, because as it is, if, if a shield, if a ship has four, if, if, if sh basically if a ship has three shield units, I'm screwed, and if it has four shield units, I'm really screwed. So I need to get this back online and maybe get another laser as well, uh, if possible. A this villain ship? Heck yeah. So they have two Zoltans and a human. Okay, they have a teleporter, so they might actually send someone on board. Let's see what they do first. All right, where you okay, he's teleporting here. Which uh, should be pretty easy for me to deal with. And let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, send Just Drop and Abel <clears throat> onto their ship. You know, fight fire with fire. Oh wait, uh, that's, that's right, my thing isn't... Uh, Alright, so let's take power out of my... Well, let's... Yeah, let's take power out of that for now. Put it into my teleporter. Deal with this guy. Or these guys, I guess. Right, he's trying to break his way into my uh, sensor room, which if he does, I'll just move K-Man into the drone room. Alright, so I took out everyone on board the ship. All I have to do is kill this guy, which shouldn't take too long. Oh wait, there's one more human. 
Oh no, he just teleported back onto the ship. Okay. All right. Got some cool stuff from that. So, um, bring these guys back. Close all the doors. Send Abel into the sick room. Send Just Drop into the sick room or sick bay. Give a little assistance to me repairing the uh, the cockpit here. Oh, I guess I could use a little, uh, little healing as well. All right, back to stations, everyone. All right, I have a good amount of scrap here. Let's see what I would like to upgrade. Uh, let's uh, get some more power, <clears throat> so I don't have to to fiddle with everything. And oh yeah, that's right. I still don't have enough weapons power to do all three of these. Oh well, at least I can use all of my drones and stuff now. Hmm. Yeah, not much point in me going to the store at this point. <laughs> Apparently, The Rock are angry at the words in my computer. Uh, okay, if you guys say so. Oh, they only have one empty room. That means my uh, my hold beam is not going to do a whole lot. But, oh well. I, I can target light. Well, let's see if I can get more, actually. Uh, yeah, it looks like four rooms is the most I can get here. But that should be pretty good. I guess rock ships are just extra tough for something, because it seems like they're the only ones that say, uh, that say resist ever. Probably should have gone after the weapon system with the whole beam, but, uh, oh well. There we go. Four rooms again, including the weapons. No, I will not accept your surrender. You're about to blow up. Why would I accept your surrender at that point? <laughs> A substantial collection of useful scrap material. Alright, let's upgrade my weapons. 75. So I can use my laser as well as my other weapons. And still have enough left to upgrade my- or to put out my defense drone. You do push buttons really well, Private Steve. You're all doing a tremendous job. I'm super proud of all of you. Sell three drones. Uh, I actually like I like having a lot of drones uh, because defense drones sp specifically are extremely useful. Wow, two di two distress beacons right next to each other. That's kind of cool. All right, so they have a rock, a uh, Zoltan, and a human. <clears throat> wow, look at all these empty rooms. That'll be very nice. Once I get my um, my whole beam firing. Yes, I am especially proud of you, Pinfeldorf. You are great at everything. Alright, so whole laser. Uh, target the weapons with my basic laser. And once those fire, take the shields down. Get my whole beam in here. And target, like, a jillion rooms. <laughs> now let's, uh, let's go, like... Like that. Try to take the, uh, try to deal some damage to the shields as well. I made extremely short work of that pirate bomber. Oh, yeah, you're right, they didn't have a med base, so I could have, I could have teleported on, on another ship. But honestly, my weapons layout is so effective right now, that's kind of more satisfying to me.
Uh, okay, let's check out this other distress beacon. Maybe hit two more nodes and then hit the exit. Near a dense asteroid field. Uh, I should be able to handle it. Oh, five damage to my hole. Oh well. Five damage uh, isn't a huge deal. Ah, crap, I should have finished repairing my engines before I, uh... Before I went to the next area. Oh well. Intruders on board. Well, let's give them a warm welcome. And, let's see, they have three rocks. Yeah, I'm not going to fight these guys. Let's, uh... I should upgrade my doors again. Next chance I get. Make my doors extra strong. Let's bring up my defense drone to try to deal with some of these asteroids. Ow! Man, you guys suck. Alright, so hull laser. Uh, basic laser. Target the weapons. Hull beam. Target these five runes. Well, actually, I don't want to... Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, wait. I didn't actually click. That's weird. I will not accept your surrender. See, these guys are still still having a good old time here. Let's go ahead and cloak. Let's see, any other... Yeah, let's... Uh, Let's open this area up a little bit more. Alright, hull laser. Basic laser. Oh, I got him. Nice. Now I just have to wait for these guys to die. And I'm in good shape. I mean, I'm not in great shape because I'm still in an asteroid field. Alright, close all my doors. Air this place out. And make the jump. See, anything that needs repaired right away? Nah. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go to the exit. Use my teleporter to attempt to board the ship and release some of the slaves. Well, that worked out well for me in the past, so I, I want to try that. Alright, welcome aboard, Beth. <clears throat> She's good at shields and she's good at, at weapons. I mean, obviously, she's not as good at shields as Pinful God, and uh, I don't think she's as good as weapons as Private Steve. No. Oh yeah, that's right. I still have to. I still have to deal with these guys. All right, cloak. Oh laser, basic laser. Oh wait, they have like super shields. I have to take those out first before I can use my whole beam. That's a bummer. Uh, let's see. Let's get K-Man in there to to work on fixing my sensors. Bring on a defense drone. Oh, my uh, sick bay also needs some attention. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that in a sec. All right, whole laser, basic laser. Shields are down. Fire the whole beam see best way to go about this uh, let's do actually let's do this no let's do this I'll get shields weapons and an empty room nice I should probably just board their ship, since all they have is a Zoltan and a human. So yeah, let's untarget that. Oh wait, I, I don't have anything targeted right now. Let's see, who's in good shape? Uh, just drop and... Uh, well, I could put Beth to work, since I haven't really found a job for her yet. Also, I need to rename her. Oh, they do have a med bay though. Might not have been a great idea. 
yep, if I took the med bay out, then, uh, then it would have worked. But, uh, yeah, that's not going to do me any good, so let's just bring him home. And fix the mid bay while, uh, while, while you need the attention. Hole laser, basic laser, and hole beam. Powering up your FTL, trying to escape, eh? They're offering me a slave as tribute. Uh, yeah, I'll accept your offer. <laughs> that was like the last possible mo moment before, uh, before they would have been completely destroyed. Yeah, now that I'm not in the asteroid field, I need to, uh, Take some time out to just repair everything here. Heal everyone up. Find a, find jobs for my new crew members. Uh, no, you need to get back in there, Pinful God. And just drop. There you go. Alright, everyone back to your stations. Alright, so I have Giles. He's, he's my newbie. So I'll have him uh, watching over my... Uh, cloaking. Now you don't get a bonus for cloaking this like you do. Like all of these, all of these little symbols means you get a bonus for having someone in that room. And I don't get a bonus for having someone in here. But if this takes damage, there will be someone there. Am I losing oxygen? Oh, <laughs> I didn't bring my oxygen back online. That would probably be a good idea. And let's see who else. Right, Beth. Where do I want to put you, Beth? Uh. I guess just stay there. If something happens to the oxygen, she'll be there to uh, immediately start repairing it. And I have a full crew. I have all eight people. So I need to rename Beth. Uh, you will be... Uh, McGack. Oops. You will have no name. And who is Giles? Is there anyone else in the chat who wants to be... Uh, wants to place on the ship? I don't think anyone else has chatted during this run, so if not, I'll just leave him as as Giles. Yeah, I, st I still don't have a list of people in the chat room, which is really a bummer. Uh, Twitch chat leaves a lot to be desired. Oh well, if anyone uh, if anyone else joins or anyone else who hasn't spoken up wants to be one of my crew members, just let me know. All right, I have a pretty good bit of scrap here. I do need to save some of it because my hull is not in great shape. Nightbot, okay. Giles will now be known as Nightbot. Is there anything I want to upgrade right, right at this moment? <laughs> Shit. Sorry, sorry, Pinfoldor. If I did not know the Nightbot had that feature, I really need, <laughs> I really need to go in and uh, and tell him. To be a little less strict with the moderation. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I do not condone Nightbot's uh, Nightbot's reaction there. All right, well let's upgrade my piloting since I haven't done that at all yet, and upgrade my doors. And and then the next sector. I have a civilian sector and a rebel stronghold. Let's go to the civilian sector. Oh yeah, I'm getting a uh, I'm getting a unit of uh, reactor power from from Nightbot here. So even though he's kind of a jerk when it comes to moderation, he is good at providing power to, to one of my systems. So I can bring up my defense drone at any time, and if I uh, if I want to upgrade one of my main systems, I won't have to upgrade my reactor right away. So I have two stores. All right, let's go. Hmm. See if I can hit these three and then circle back around to the store. See if that works. Small rebel ship. Alright, they have four human crew members. Uh, I'm just going to attack. I mean, so far, teleporting onto their ship really hasn't gotten me anything, which is kind of disappointing. Cloaking. I might put up my uh, defense drone if their if their weapons stay online. 
This uh, combat drone probably isn't going to do much since it seems to be a beam weapon. A laser, basic laser. Wow, I just missed like everything. That sucks. Well, if they manage to take my shields down, then uh, having this thing shooting beams at me will be a problem. Let's, let's go ahead and bring in my defense drone. No med bay again. Yeah, that's true. I've been really disappointed with all of my away missions so far, though. I mean, it's not your guys' fault. There's just been, uh, there hasn't been anything worth worth looting on the ship. Alright, shields are down. Let's fire the whole beam. Like that. Four rooms, two of them empty. This should do a significant amount of damage. Yep. They are trying to, to escape. Let's uh, put a stop to that right away. Let's fire my basic laser at that. Well, wait for it to charge first, so uh, I get all the timing right. Oh, cool! Thanks, Justrop. I didn't I didn't realize you could uh, you could control Nightbot. I guess moderators have that power. That's kind of cool. Or maybe that's just something anyone can do. Alright, let's go ahead and cloak again. Alright, whole laser. See, I need to stop them from jumping. So, after I get their shields down... Actually, let's fire the whole laser at the engine room. And then once once their shields are down, I will... Uh, I will not accept your surrender. I did prevent them from jumping. Their shields are down. Let's fire their whole beam... Uh, let's see, let's do it like... Oops. Like that. Ah, crap, they got away. I, I thought hitting their engines would stop them from doing that. Oh, well. A long string of letters with no spaces. Yeah, I don't really know why. That's a moderation-worthy offense in Nightbot's eyes. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's hit this distress beacon. Refugee ship drifting in space. Ship is completely abandoned. So... So uh, go here and then head to the store, and then I guess I'll have to head to the other store. Hmm. If I if I go this way, I'm going to have to go through the nebula, which is kind of a bummer. But I do want to go to the store and and fix my hull. Hopefully, I'll have more money by then. Uh, hail the refugee ship. A pirate ship jumps into the system. It was using the refugee ship as bait. Alright, they have a med bay, so don't really want to do a, an away mission, especially since they have a rock on board. So I think I would just stick with my us usual strategy, although they don't have any, any empty rooms, which will limit the, uh, the amount of damage I can do to them. I guess I'll just uh, stay focused on their weapon system then. Oh, they have super shields, so it's going to take a while for me to get through those. That sucks. Should probably think about upgrading my shields again. Alright, shields are down. Let's fire the whole beam. Might be able to get four four rooms with this. Let's test it. Yep, I can get these four. Nice. It's only one damage to each room, but uh pretty good. Are my shields down? Oh, they uh they attacked my shields with the ion, that sucks. Well, let's cloak until my shields are are back online.
Alright, awesome. I'm actually feeling pretty good about my weapons layout right now. It's pretty similar to my weapons layout in the best run I've had so far, except that I actually have more uh, shield shield destroying abilities, which uh, should be pretty pretty helpful. Um, let's see, what do I want to spin my scrap on? I, I really need to upgrade my engines. My evasion, even with my awesome pilot and engine person, is only 35. So let's uh, get one reactor unit, upgrade that once. See nothing, nothing else I can do yet. But I do want to save a little bit of money anyway because uh, because I want to fix my hull. Also, I, I probably need to buy some more fuel. So, <clears throat> oh, I can't even afford to, f to fix my my hull completely. That sucks. Oh, well, let's uh, get that up as much as possible. Well, and spend the rest of my money on fuel. There we go. That's pretty good. That's better than nothing. Go to this other store, even though there's no reason to. But I pretty much have to. Yeah, that's weird, Pinfeldorf. It's not sharing spaces uh, in that string of text for me either. But I can trade two missiles and get two drones. I still don't have a missile system, so that's a uh, good trade for me. I can probably go here and then here. Well, no. I shouldn't push it. They have a rock and a human with no med bay. They almost completely disabled my engine, but that's okay. Because I'm going to mess their day up. Uh, do one more volley of attacks before I send send a team to their ship. All right. Uh, just drop in Abel. You are my team once again. Take out this rock first, since he has the most health. Well, I, I guess I'll end up having to fight both of them at once. All right, good job, guys. Once again, not really any. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm getting more scrap when I when I destroy them that way than when I blow their ship up, but uh, it's not a huge improvement overall. Alright, I was saying I need to, uh... No, I, I guess I'm... I guess I'm pretty good. Could upgrade my cloaking again. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I need to finish powering up my engines, put another point into my cloaking. Still have two available for my defense drone if I need it. So that's good. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go through at least one nebula space, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, I can't afford to hire anyone. Well, I have a full crew anyway. So, oh well. Warning, you will have to dismiss a crew member. You are already full. Yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. So let's uh, go here, maybe hit this, this node, and then go to the exit. Black Market Weapons Trader. Purchase an unknown weapon for 45 scrap. Man, I kind of wish I had it. I want to know what an unknown weapon is. But I'm just going to attack. <clears throat> I can't see what's on their ship, so I'm not going to risk sending an away team. They don't have any empty rooms, so my whole laser and whole beam are not as useful as it could be. Which sucks. 
And they have super shields, so once again, I'm going to have to take those down before I can really do anything. That's a game I've heard a lot of good things about, Pinfodorf. Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I kind of wanted to get into it, but it seemed very complicated. I've, I've kind of invested a lot of... Uh, a lot of brain space in NetHack, which is kind of a similar game, so I haven't really, uh, really looked into it. I guess, I guess four is as many as I'm going to be able to get with the whole beam, which is still pretty good. Crap, they took down my oxygen. Oh, why are you guys still in the sick bay? You need to man your stations. I need to tell you to man your stations. Bring up a defense drone, so since they hit me with a missile. All right, everyone, back to your stations. Uh, right, whole laser, basic laser, whole beam. They're trying to get away, but I should hopefully be able to stop them. I will not accept your surrender. See, with the with the regular. Kestrel ship, what I would do in this situation is I would immediately fire a missile at either their engine room or their pilot since I, d I don't use missiles that often and that's one situation where uh, where you want to do that but I don't have missiles so I just kind of have to hope that I hit with all of my lasers and stuff. So fire everything at the engine room. Alright, awesome. I got him. Yeah, dude, stop being racist against NGs. What, what did they ever do to you? Alright, uh, McGack, let's heal you up. I have to say, running with the full crew is very nice. Oh, I don't even have... have a station for you, McGack. Okay. There you go. You are my person in charge of oxygen. It's an important job, don't mess it up. Right. Oh, there's a distress beacon here. Cool. Might it might even be able to hit that one before I go to the exit. I don't know. Depends on how much it moves. Small research station. The fire suppression system is not working. Uh, yeah. Let's try to help him put out the fire. 68 scrap. Not bad. Alright, let's finish upgrading my sensors. Hmm. Might be able to do one more before I hit the exit. It'll be cutting it close, but I, I should be okay. Rebels? You know how I feel about rebels. I wish I had the augmentation that makes it so my weapons are automatically charged at the beginning of every battle. That's a really good one. Wow. That was a flub. What they hit me with? Was that a missile? I didn't notice. Well, I should cloak. Crap, stop missing! Who's on weapons? Private Steve? Stop missing, Private Steve. Yeah, they're, they're probably going to get away, but that's okay. Yep, they got away. Oh well. It was worth a shot. I didn't mean him, Private Steve. Good job, anyway. Ooh, I think the exit is going to be, uh, yeah. Oh well, that's okay. I got away before I can get away again. Intruders detected. Oh. Oh hey, it's, uh, Vivimord again. 
Didn't you get enough of me making fun of your name last time? What is that? Some sort of firebomb. Alright, K-Man, uh, you hide out in there. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully I can deprive these guys of oxygen until they die. That's the plan, anyway. Okay, I can't see on their ship anymore, but that's okay. Like last time, my goal was just to stay alive long enough to get out of here. Man, it's kind of messed up that they actually let them die instead of just teleporting them back. Alright, back to stations, everyone. Alright, FTL drive ready. Let's get the heck out of here. Pirate controlled or rock? Hmm. I don't like rock ships. They seem to be resistant to my weapons. Let's, let's go after the pirates. Put privacy back in weapons. Oh, did, 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 I, did I not? I thought I did. Yeah, he's in there. I, I might not have had him there before, though. Man, my hole's uh, it's taking kind of a beating. It would be nice if I could get a better defense drone. Defense 1 is cool, but I'm going to need uh, better defense going forward. Alright, let's see if I can hit three of these before I go to the store. Collect a little bit more money. Sure, what's your specialty? Upgrade my door subsystem. I think my door's all the way, uh, yeah, my door's all the way upgraded, so thanks but no thanks. My whole pinfall dwarf. Whole. H-U-L-L. -L. Damn it. Oh wow, I'm almost out of fuel. Okay, investigate the life form on the moon. Find a man living alone in the cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, he's been here many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Hey, come aboard, buddy. Oh, I don't have a spot for you, though. Sorry, Charlie. <clears throat> he's good at weapons, but I have Private Steve for that. He's good at repairing as well, but I don't want to get rid of Private Steve for this guy. But I'm glad I was able to help him. Oh, dismiss. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. I mean, I don't know why I couldn't just put him in my drone room or something. I guess I don't have enough food for him or something. Well, I didn't get any scrap for those two locations. Try a couple more. That's another one of those no... No event locations. Okay, so I found some strange six-legged horse-like animals. Uh, the last time I tried messing with these things, uh, they killed one of my crew members. So I'm not going to mess with them. I think I messed up, though. I came, I jumped here instead of going to the store. And I only have one fuel left. Let's, uh... I guess we'll put out a distress beacon and hope someone comes by with some fuel. Yeah, I will never surrender to the slavers. Or I might be able to blow this guy up and get some fuel. That might work as well. Hopefully. Alright, this is a pretty tough ship. Uh, they have high weapons, high drones, three shields. Yeah, this is going to be a tough fight, but I should be able to, to, uh, to take care of them, hopefully. Let's uh, not target that just yet. Wait, why do... Oh, I didn't put points back into my uh, weapons after I repaired them. I should probably put out a defense drone since they have two two missiles firing at me. Fire the whole laser uh, here. Target the weapon system with my basic laser. Shields are down. Use the whole beam. Whole beam on these four rooms. Alright.
Alright, my uh, cockpit took a little bit of damage there, but still doing okay. Didn't even get through the shields that time. Well, I mean, I jump away from this fight, but I have no fuel, so I'm kind of stuck here until I blow them up. Their crew is way too big and tough for me to take on that way. Might be a smarter way for me to do this, actually. Let's do this way so I get the shields and the weapons. Alright, I really need to blow these guys up and see if they have any fuel. So, I mean, this wouldn't help me anyway since I have a full crew. But, uh, yeah, I, I need to, uh, to blow these guys up. They don't have any fuel, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I was not paying attention to my fuel. I will admit that. Please have fuel. Oh, thank god. Alright, I'm not doomed. And the store is open for one more turn. Wow, I'm cutting it extremely close. Yes, give me all the fuel you have. Alright, what else do I want to spend all this money on? Long range scanners are nice. I want to pick that up. Fix my hull. Fix my ship. Fix my... Uh... My... Body. Defense 2. That'd be nice to have. Can't afford it though. Do I have anything to sell? I could sell defense 1 and get defense 2. I won't be able to use it right away. But, uh... It'll be a good long-term investment. Yeah, I'll do that. Leaves me with 23. And I have 8 fuel. And I wish I had more, but... Uh, but what can you do? Repair hull, yeah. Yep, gotcha. Thanks, Restra. Okay. Uh, let's... Okay, so now that I have the long-range scanner, I can see which of these actually have ships there. Or are likely to have ships there. That doesn't mean all the other nodes don't have ships there, but uh, these are these are good bets to go to for uh, for encounters. <laughs> Refugee ship, hail them. Oh, heck yeah. I'll give you two missiles for six fuel. It's like you read my mind. There's an asteroid field here, but uh, I should be okay. Oh, I don't have my Defense 2 drone anymore, or my Defense 1 drone, and I don't have enough scrap to upgrade my drones. Oh, wait, I do. <clears throat> I, I thought it would, be, it would be more than that. Okay, so I can take a point out of my med bay for now, and now I have Defense 2 drones available, which should help me out in this asteroid field. Pirate ship was lying in wait. So all they have is a rock and a human <clears throat> with no med bay. However, this is an asteroid field, and I kind of want to be careful in an asteroid field. I don't want to accidentally have people on, on board their ship when it gets blown up by an asteroid. So I'll, I'll just take them out the old-fashioned way. Let's bring up my defense drone. Look at that thing, my drone is on the ball. Alright, hull laser uh, here, basic laser at the weapons. Beam, uh, let's see, let's do it like that, four rooms including the weapons. Nice, good job. Right. A laser, basic laser, beam. I will not accept your surrender. I will blow you up instead. 
Nice. Oh, there's a good amount of scrap. All right, let's get the hell out of here. So this this area is actually safe for one more turn because it doesn't have the little uh, the little glowing red border around it. So let's go here since I know there's a ship there. I should heal people after this. Oh, yeah, I should have done that. Just drop. Sorry. An unmanned scout. Well, that should be pretty easy. They do have a good uh, good amount of shields going, but uh, I should be okay. Actually, let's, uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter since they have three shield units, but, uh, actually, I don't want to target just yet. I will cloak, however. Alright, so, hull laser on the shields, basic laser on the shields, hull beam, let's see if I can get these three. Yeah, there we go. Well, let's see if I can get, no, I can't get the shields and the weapons. What's more important, shields or weapons? Probably the shields, I'd say. Hmm. Doesn't doesn't seem to always hit all three of them when I when like it's kind of barely on the border like that. I should probably put out a defense drone since they're firing missiles at me. I wish my drone could blow up their drones. I'd like to see some inter drone warfare. Alright, so they only have two units of shields now, so let's go after their weapons with these. Hopefully I can get one hit in on them, and then, uh, same tactic with, with my beam. Most of the times you lost was because you got lazy. Well, early on I lost a lot because I didn't, didn't really know what I was doing, but I have definitely died because of laziness before. Be nice if I could take out some of these drones. Oops, wrong thing. Yeah, Want to untarget that? So I was complaining before that you can't untarget without uh, powering down the weapon, and I t I totally didn't realize that you can just right click anywhere to uh, to untarget. That that's very helpful. Wait, did my drones? Go oh, wait, I guess my drone got blown up. Or hmm. I don't know why this is this is red like that. Oh, drone rebuilding after unexpected destruction. Okay, so they blew my drone up, and I have to wait for it to rebuild before I can launch another one. But I don't really need to launch another one. All right, there we go. I probably I was a little more careful with that fight than I really had to be, but um, better safe than sorry. And many other cliches. So what should I upgrade? Uh, I should probably work on my engines a little bit. Let's see, how much... Uh, yeah, I need, I need some more reactors as well. So let's get two of those and upgrade my engines. So one point there, and now I can fully power my med bay and power my defense drones. Alright, uh, me and K-Man. Time for a little R&R. &R. Alright, back to stations everyone. So my evade now is 45%, which is pretty good. You'd be surprised how often you get hit for even with 45% evasion though. Like uh, I think I have, I, I can't see my uh, achievements from here, but I got an achievement for being hit like three times in a row with maximumly upgraded engines or something and the name of the achievement is uh, like st statistically unlikely or so something along those lines and uh, <laughs> in this game 45% does not mean that much or even with fully upgraded engines I think it would be 55 I hear hostiles beam onto my ship until I'm able to jump away from the hostile space station my sensors will be disabled uh oh well, that's going to make things d difficult. Uh, all right, so McGack, you, uh, I guess you hang out down here for now, and I'll try to, try to 
suffocate these guys even though I can't see them. Uh, I can see what doors they're attacking and what systems are being attacked. Like right, right now I know they're all on oxygen because that's the only room with the little uh, under attack symbol above it. So my doors are, f are fully upgraded so they're going to have a hard time, uh, McGack, you, you hang out here, they're going to have a hard time getting through those doors. They're fully upgraded, and I have someone in there. I have just dropped manning the doors. So they broke into my teleporter room. All right, I think I got them all. Oops, no, don't do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I always get my hotkeys mixed up for uh, opening and closing all the doors. All right, Private Steve and Pinful God. Heal up. Killing them without a fight. Well, I mean, that's definitely the most effective way to do it. Alright. job, guys. Alright, so I have a Distress Beacon. Yeah, let's, let's head to the Distress Beacon and then, then go to the exit. Alright, see you later, Abel. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, I will hail the refugees. Yeah, that's, that's a good trade. 10 fuel and I only have to give up one drone? Heck yeah. <laughs> Alright. An automated rebel scout ship attacking a small refueling outpost. Yeah, I'll defend the f refueling outpost. So I, I didn't mention this before, but since I have my sensors fully upgraded, I can actually see their weapons as they charge, which makes it a lot easier to know when to, to uh, activate cloaking. Alright, weapons charged. Let's uh, see, they have three shield units. Let's just put everything in the weapons. I think that's my best bet. Man, their shields got back up really quickly. That sucks. My beam wasn't even able to uh, to hit every room. Well, their weapons are completely down, so let's go after their shields now. I mean, the weapons will come back up, but more, it's more slow than if they actually had someone there to repair it. Maybe I should fire my whole beam like a split second before their shields actually go down. So their shields don't recharge before my whole beam can do all the all of its work. Alright, so I paused as soon as the shields went down, and as you can see they already built a little bit back up, and that kinda sucks. But oh well. Alright. I, I just need to be better with better with my timing, I guess. All right, decisive victory. The outpost gave me a very, very nice reward there. All right, so I only have one more uh, reactor unit to upgrade, so I guess I should go ahead and do that. Hmm. And then I'll hold on to the rest of my scrap. It would be nice if I had more lasers, or or another whole beam, or another beam weapon would also be cool. I'm doing pretty good as it is, but when it comes to fighting the flagship, I don't know if I'm equipped enough to deal with it. So I, I have not beaten the last boss yet. Ballistophobia. Oh, I made it to the uh, the last sector without using missiles, so I got an achievement for that. All right, so <clears throat> I think this is the first time I've, I've made it here on stream. Uh, my access goes get me past the initial security, and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. What is the meaning of this? Who am I? Explain my mission. 
Intel suggests potential encounter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. So, they gave me 10 fuel, which I didn't need at this point, but it's nice to have. So my job at this point is to prevent this, the flagship, from making it to the base. There are repair stations scattered around. Uh, it kind of sucks that I, I really won't be able to get to them. Um, this, is, this is the only uh, possible ship detected on the map, though, which is interesting. So if this ship makes it to the base, and I think, I think if it's there for a whole turn, you lose. The flagship destroys the base, and your mission's over. So I have to intercept this before it can attack the base, and uh, once I intercept it, it is an extremely difficult fight. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Uh, okay, remotely scan the ship. The ship is on standby, ready to activate at a moment's notice. Will I still attempt to access the ship's data? Yes. My map has been updated. Awesome. Alright, let's see uh, what more info I have about this area now. Okay, so... There's a store over here which I unfortunately won't be able to get to. Uh, rebels have control of this area. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to avoid as many encounters as possible because I want to be pristine for when I fight the flagship. My my health is all the way full, which is good. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of... I mean, I won't be able to use any, any of my scrap I get anyway, so there's really no point in having encounters at this point. Uh, sensors run with hot missile, run hot with missile locks, but once I transmit my ship signature, they leave me alone. Okay, awesome. So the flagship is, hmm, I'm not sure if it's going to head to the base or head to this area. So I'm going to wait in my current location and see what the flagship does. Can I get level 3 shields? That's a good question. I should probably do that if I can. Uh, it would cost me 100. Which would leave me with 23. Uh, I would need two... I, I basically need one... I, I don't have enough energy for level 3 shields and defense missiles. But uh, I can... I mean, I'm not going to be using this. Uh, there's no point in teleporting people onto the flagship. So yeah, I can take that down. Buy the level 3 shields. Alright, that, that'll help out a lot. Thanks, Penfeldorf. What else am I doing with the scrap? Nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> at 23 left, nothing I can really do, do with that. Wish I had more drones. Wish, wish I had better weapons. But you, uh, you, you deal with what you have. So I'm going to wait in my location and see what the flagship does. Alright, it's heading to that node. So I'm going to wait another turn until it's there, and then I'm going to head head to that location. Because the last time I tried to intercept the flagship while it was moving, I, uh, I got attacked by some other ships in the process. So this is the Rebel flagship. If you're able to just destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. Alright, so it is immediately cloaking, of course. It has three levels of shields. And this is going to be a tough fight. I don't know if I, if I will be able to pull this off, but I will do my best. Also, it's, uh, it's jamming my sensors partially, which kind of sucks. I won't be able to see its... Uh, the status of its weapons. Alright, so I'm just gonna hang out for now until it uncloaks. Actually, let's put up my defense drone immediately. Alright, so let's see what we're dealing with here. It has one, two, three, four four weapons rooms. However, if I can kill the people in these rooms, then the those rooms are gonna be un unmanned, so because there, there are no doors leading to other areas of the ship. It's kind of a weak, uh, it's kind of a crappy design flaw. What I should do, though, is just focus on doing as much damage as possible, which means hitting these big empty sections of hull with my hull laser and my, la and my basic laser. And my hull beam, of course. <clears throat> Alright, so let's cloak. Zero weapon systems. 
Oh, the only time I beat this fight was, was with an Osprey C with level 4 shields and level 3 cloaking. And zero weapon systems. Yeah, I, I, I'd have to see what the deal with this Osprey C is is all about. That that sounds kind of uh, kind of weird. All right, so I will target that. Deal as much damage as possible. I'll, I'll I'll target one of the weapon systems with my basic laser. All right, shields are down. Let's bring the whole beam back up. The shields are going to recharge extremely quickly, so I'm going to have to be really careful with my timing here. Let's see how many of these rooms I can hit. Oops, wrong weapon. And probably get four of them, and and not not much more than that. Yeah, let's let's go for four. All right, did a good chunk of damage there. That was a good good hit. All right, so my defense drone was only able to deal with one of those missiles. Don't kill everyone on the ship. On my ship or on their ship? Because I will try to do the former, but I can't promise I'll do the latter. Let's get these fires out as quick, quickly as possible. Back to stations, everyone. All right, let's cloak and avoid these missiles. Oops, or try to avoid the missiles. Uh, whole laser, basic laser, beam. All right, I already did like two thirds of its health, so th this fight's going okay so far. And I haven't taken that much damage. If the flagship runs out of crew, the AI will take over and repair everything. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I'll try not to do that, Private Steve. You can upgrade the flat cannon to a 20 second recharge. Oh, I see. You're, you're talking about the Osprey C. Yeah, it, it would definitely be cool if I can unlock that. Right. Whole laser. Basic laser. Whole beam. Alright, it's phase one. We've got to keep up the assault. Oh yeah, I forgot you actually get scrap for for defeating the phases of the uh, the flagship. Alright, can I do anything with that? Could upgrade my Med bay. Uh, let's hang on to it. Maybe I can upgrade my engines a little bit. All right, so let's head to the base. I, I don't know if, if this will result in another flagship fight, or this will be a uh, a smaller ship. Uh, let's let's see what happens. Well, first, let's make sure uh, everybody's healthy and every every system is repaired. Yes. Okay. heavily damaged from the previous fight. It is. It doesn't look damaged. It looks like it's in really good shape. Redirecting considerable power to its drones. So it's going to bombard my ship with boarding drones. Uh, which sucks. But I should be able to take them out. I have a full crew of eight people. And if eight people can't deal with, with a couple drones, then, uh, then I don't know what to tell you. Alright, bring my defense drone back out. And this one, oh, can also shoot down incoming lasers. That's cool. I, I don't know the the physical mechanics of shooting a laser, but uh, I'm, I'm glad it can. All right, a oh, laser. Uh, let's take out its drones with my, or try to take out its drones with my basic laser, since it's redirected a lot of its power to that. And whole beam on these four. Nice! Alright, let's go ahead and cloak since I have a lot of incoming fire. Mark II defense runs are amazing. Yeah, I am definitely glad I got that upgrade. So wait, is it is it doesn't have a cloaking system anymore, that's interesting. That's it's nice not to have to worry about that. 
power surge detected. Oh, this is probably going to mess up some of my systems. God, that's a lot of drones. Holy crap. Intruders detected. Okay, so this is the uh, the border drone. Luckily, it's just one of them. So my best fighters are Just Drop and probably Penful God. Even though he's an NG, his fight... Well, no, Nightbot's pretty good, too. But he only has 70 health. Who else is good at fighting? Uh, well, Abel. Yeah, let's send Abel, uh, Pinful God, and Just Drop. Well, they won't all be able to fight it because it's still in that small room. All right. So, Hull Laser. Basic Laser. Wish I had more than just the Basic Laser for this, but uh, like I said, you work with what you have. Oh, I didn't take his shields down, so I couldn't hit it with the Hull Beam. That sucks. All right, I have a... Uh, Actually, Abel, you fall back a little bit, as well as Nightbot. I need to uh, deal with this fire. God, I wish I got through his shields. That sucks. See, this is what happened in my last run. I had, uh, I was doing really well. Wait, is Just Drop the only one fighting that? Where, where's Pinful got it? I guess I didn't tell him to get, to get in there. About just drop. There you go. Fire's out. Who's almost dead? Uh, is it Nightbot? No. Oh, this room still doesn't have any oxygen in it, but it, it will in a second. Actually, you guys get in here until. Oh, there's a hole breach. That's why the uh, the oxygen sucks. Okay, so uh, K Man and Abel. You need to get in there and fix that hole breach as fast as possible. Hole laser, basic laser. Shields are down, hole beam. Uh, there we go, four rooms. Crap, I didn't time that very well. Oh my god, okay. So I have a fire here and my oxygen system is down. I should probably cloak. Nightbot is good to fight. Yeah, that's true. He only has 70 health, though, so I kind of uh, didn't want to risk him. Alright, so... I need... Alright. Crap, this whole, this whole section of my ship is in trouble. Alright. <clears throat> McGack, you get in there and help repair the oxygen. Uh... And K-Man, you do the same. Or no, K-Man, you do the same. And for this fire, I will bring McGack into the shield room. And try to put it out that way. Let's cloak. Let's go ahead and cloak. Right, who's almost dead? Just drop. And K Man. Alright, so my auction is back online. The fire's out. Let's go ahead and close all the doors. <sighs> Get you to the sick bay. I hope they don't die from lack of oxygen before they make it to the sick bay. Is my auction increasing? Yes. Okay. Ah, crap. Who was that? Abel? I'm sorry, Abel. Alright. Not not the end of the world. Okay, it's almost dead. Oh, just drop. You need to <clears throat> to get to the six bay sick bay too. Sorry, buddy. All right, I don't give a shit about my teleporter. That can uh, that can stay dead for all I care. My defense turn is still still doing its job, but it can't. Uh, Oh my god, okay. Sick is still online. Uh, there's a breach. Uh, let's open up the doors, try to get some more oxygen oxygen into the sick bay. Le weapons back online. Fire my whole laser. Let's fire the basic laser. Crap, I didn't take down his shields again. That sucks. I have four shots. 
I have to miss with two not to take the shields down. Oh my god. Alright, you guys need to fix the oxygen again. Duke, you need to re repair this. God, there's so much shit being fired at you. Be prepared to hold your breath, yeah. Cloak. Full laser. Basic laser. Alright. Phase 2. Duke, get to the sick bay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Run, don't die. I got a defense drone mark one. That's, that's kind of cool, I guess. Okay. So the oxygen's fixed. The sick bay is fully powered, so they shouldn't die. Hopefully, I need to sh I need to shut that area off from the rest of the ship for now. You guys need to get in here. Well, as many of you as can fit in there. Who's about to die? Just drop. Okay. Oh my god, my health is, I still have more than half my health, so I could be doing worse. I did lose a crew member, but I have, wait, did I lose two crew members? Who else died? I lost Abel and, <laughs> privacy took no damage, oh, I lost Abel and Nightbot, that sucks. I, I didn't notice when I lost Nightbot, I had too much, too much other shit to... To worry about at the time. Alright, who's good at repairing? Pinful God and Just Drop. You need to fix this breach ASAP. Alright, good job, guys. Having a hacking system is huge for the flagship. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I haven't seen anything about hacking yet in, the, in this game. I, I guess it's something I haven't unlocked yet or something. All right, well, let's I don't know what to do. I have enough to upgrade my drone system two more times, but I don't have enough power for it. Hacking uses a drone to shut down a system for n seconds. Rank three is like 20 seconds. Yeah, I, I I haven't seen a drone that does that yet, so not really sure uh, sure how I do that. <clears throat> All right, so I guess I can. Oh, I don't have anyone in my engine room. That's not good. Who's my engines guy? Pinful God, but I have him on shields right now. Who's my other shields guy? I guess my other shields guy died. That sucks. Well, engine's more important than shields, I think, so. Pinful God, that's your new job. No! God damn it! I'm a good captain. <laughs> Good captains always randomly open the airlocks. You get a hacking room. Yeah, I <clears throat> that might be the advanced content. I don't have any of the advanced content turned on. Alright, McGack, uh I'm gonna need you on shields instead of oxygen. And then <clears throat> Pinful God, I'm gonna need him in the in the engine room. All right, say positions. Now, what am I going to do about this defense drone? I guess I could go with two levels of shields. Oops, I wasted a drone. Oh well, I have 20 of the things. So I'm not sure if I should go here now or if I should wait until the flagship's there. I think I should wait. Because if I go there now, there's a chance that I'll get there before the flagship, I think, and have to deal with deal with other ships. 
I can't even unlock the Osprey. Yeah, I wanted to at least beat the game on easy before I started getting into the advanced stuff. Alright, I'm gonna wait. I'm stalling for time. This is very, very tense. I have no idea how many phases this thing even has. The, the, the most times I've ever destroyed it is twice. Oh, this is it. It looks like this is the last one. Transfer power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. Okay. The advanced stuff is more like Wrath of the Lamb and Isaac. Yeah. Like, I wanted to, uh... Alright, so... They teleported into the engine room. Penful God, you... Uh, I guess... Wait, you need to head in here. You need to head in here. And I need to... Open up this area. I need to bring out both of my defense drones. Let's go ahead and cloak. <clears throat> Alright, hole laser. It only has three empty uh empty room so it might going to be it might be hard to hit hit all of them with my whole beam but let's see what happens oh it has super shields that sucks I'm not even going to be able to hit it until those goes down and I just miss with like 90% of my shots good job I, I guess it doesn't help well see having someone in weapons all that does is make it recharge faster like <clears throat> uh, Manning reduces charge time. So it's not like having someone in there even makes it easier to hit or anything. Alright, so two more people just teleported on, on, onto my ship. Uh, <clears throat> so let's continue trying to suffocate them. Hopefully having this extra defense drone will be the, uh, the, the juice that I need. Oh crap. Oh my god, okay. Well, luckily the fire started in the rooms that don't have oxygen anyway. However, once, uh... <clears throat> once it comes time to repair that, it's going to be difficult because that, that area is completely starved of, of oxygen. Teleport my men over and have them sit in the shield room. Yeah, but there's like... Well, I, I guess there's only one person on this, in this area now. That, that might actually be a good idea, Penfeldorf. Yeah, I, I did get nailed. That sucked. Alright, so just drop and... I, ca I can't get rid of Pinful God. He's my engines guy. Let's go with just drop and K-Man. Oh, crap. <clears throat> uh, no, you need to, uh, you need to wash the doors. Alright, hopefully... Alright, Magak, you get in here. And... No, no, no. No, no. K-Man, you stay in here. No, K-Man, you stay in here. Alright. Close this door. Open this part of the airlock. Try to start them of oxygen a little faster. Alright. Crap, their super shields recharge really fast, too. Alright. Oh my god. Did someone else teleport on? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I guess it was the last guy in the in this area. My oxygen is on fire. Alright. Still... <sighs> okay, these guys die. That's good. Let's uh, just drop you. You help put, put this fire out. And... Uh, Actually, Private Steve, you need to help repair the uh, oxygen as well. And Pinful God, you, uh, I guess you just fight that guy. Let's go ahead and cloak. Well, let's shut my door since I have Pinful God on the job there. Alright, you guys all need to get to the sick bay.
Yeah, now that there's no one in, in like this big central area, I probably should teleport some people in there and watch the shield room. Actually, um, just drop and yeah, sure, Private Steve, you go on ahead and do that. Super shields prevent teleporting. Shit. Okay. Right, well. Let's take down those super shields as soon as possible. Alright, Pinful God, you need to get to the sick bay. I said. Oh my god! All right, just everyone head to this general area, I guess. At least I got rid of everyone who can possibly teleport onto my ship. My hull is in trouble though. Did my weapons go out? Shit. I, I really won't be able to get anyone... <sighs> ...in there. Alright, fires... Fires out. Close all the doors. Get some air into those rooms. Wait for the air to come back. Get everyone to sick bay. <clears throat> then maybe... Then maybe I can start thinking about teleporting. Who's about to die? Why is my oxygen not coming back? My my oxygen is still draining. Why? I guess because this. All right, just drop. You you head here for now. You guys all all head in here for now. Shit. All right, the fire's out. I need to wait for my oxygen oxygen to come back. Nope. Who did I lose? Sorry, Magak. Just went in and cloak since they're about to attack. <sighs> Alright, is my oxygen all, oxygen all back? Okay. Everyone go to sick. Well, except you, Duke. What, what can I be doing in this situation to help? I can fix the weapons. Well, I, I can't tell if these rooms are still oxygen starved or not. I guess they are. So don't go in there just yet. My oxygen is still draining. All the doors are closed. Do I have? A it's because of this fucking hole breach. Okay, I need to close those doors. No, sorry. Well, I, I guess as long as you're in the sick bay. Well, crap. The sick bay isn't is down. Shit. Is my oxygen coming back yet? Yes, it is. Okay, good. I can't tell. <clears throat> Okay, I think I think the sick bay is safe now. I think. Uh Duke, yeah, okay. This area is all safe, so I need to get in there and fix the weapons. Oh, thank god. Okay. Great. I love a 33% hit rate. That makes me feel really good. My defense drones are, are both down. Fucking hell. Alright, everyone's healing back up. Weapons are all back online. Bring the laser back up. What's down? Shields? Alright, Duke, you take care of that. I guess the engine room is kind of, uh, kind of a lost cause at this point. Okay, what can people be doing? You guys need to get in here and fix the teleporter because as soon as I... As soon as I take... The super shields are fully charged again. Son of a... Don't, don't open all the doors and ship. Close the inner doors. Well, you want all the inner doors open when you're trying to get oxygen to more areas of the ship. 
It's just I wasn't trying to get oxygen to more areas of the ship at that point. I did take care of everyone in this central area though, so there's not going to be any more fixing of the teleporter or the shields or anything. If I can just get this damn super shield down, I should be okay. Alright, so Duke... I'm going to teleport these guys into the shield room. Oh, but it's still down. Shit. Alright, so who's good at weapons? Who, who, who's still alive who's good at weapons? Private Steve. And uh, <clears throat> I guess I can have you on shields. Well, actually, yeah, you should be repairing the shields. Wait. I said weapons privacy, not shields. Maybe, maybe I did say shields by mistake. Why don't I use my beam? Because the beam doesn't do anything if the shields are up. Shit. That's it. Well, that's the closest that's the closest I've ever made it. It's not my high score, but uh That is the closest I've ever made it to finishing that battle. That third form fucking sucks. After that first form, I thought I was going to be okay because I barely took any damage in that form. That second and third form, there's just too much shit for you to deal with. That that is the least fair fight in the history of video games. My god. Did I unlock anything? I don't think so. Shit. Alright, well, that's been FTL. Sorry. Sorry things didn't work out. Every time I've played, I've come closer to winning. That, that time, it was a little bit closer than last time, but... Small steps. I just need to... I just need to figure out how to manage everything that happens during that, those second and third forms of the fight. I also need better weapons by that point, and I need better defense drones by that point. But, uh, yeah, this has been FTL. Thanks to everyone who watched. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'll probably do this again sometime soon, or possibly go back to Castle in the Darkness. Not really sure which, but, uh, yeah, I love all you guys, and I will see all of you soon. Goodbye.